Breaking my wrist has meant for quite some time I can't draw by hand and I can't do much else. But I sat down and I thought, can I at least put some pixels down? Well, this might seem like a bit of an anachronism in this age. Pixel Vixen, Doom, Pixel Art. Yes, I admit there hasn't been a great deal of pixel art of late on this channel. But then during the summer and the spring before that, I have been spending my time traveling about Japan, seeing places, and not necessarily always sharing them on YouTube or on social media. I guess whilst this YouTube channel does cover a variety of things, it's never really been something that I've been doing with the intent of doing it full time or becoming a big YouTuber. I mean, you only have to look at the subscriber stats to see that I'm not particularly bothered about that. Really, this is not really a business at all. It's just a representation of all the things that I'm interested in. And sometimes that means that you see pics up. Sometimes you see manga. Sometimes you see video game stuff. Sometimes you see sightseeing. It's all just a bit of a variation of just whatever I'm up to at the time. And that's why there hasn't been a great deal of pixel art because I've just been doing other things. I've been enjoying the better weather. I've been skating and I've been drawing manga and I've been visiting places. So in some respects, I kind of apologize for those who perhaps originally came to this channel for the pixel art and now find that, well, she doesn't seem to do it very often. But then, you know, I never really set out to say that I am going to be the be-all, end-all source of pixel art on the internet. That's not really why I'm raison d'etre, nor is it the entire expression of myself as an individual. But anyway, the good thing is, is that last weekend I thought, well, if I can't draw with a pencil or with my ink pens, I might as well just see if I can just about put some pixels down and just see how it goes. And to my astonishment, it actually went rather well. The reason I say astonishment is because it wasn't actually a very small break. My injury was actually really quite severe. As again, I don't really want to go into details, but I will just reiterate that when I came off that skateboard, I looked down at my wrist and that was all I needed to see. I didn't look at it again. That was quite enough for me. Anyway, one thing that has occurred to me about my use of an old digital graphics package that I'm using here in Duex Paint on an even older retro system, an Amiga, albeit emulated, is that its limitations are actually what I enjoy most about it and why I return to it time and time again. And it's what's really helped me step up my artistic abilities across the board. By that, I mean it's not just increased my abilities in terms of pixel art, but also how I apply those to paper using ink and Copic markers, for example. In this example, I was more interested in conveying side lighting and forced myself just to use eight colors to start with to complete as much of the portrait as possible before I upped the color count. This allowed me to really focus on the lighting rather than worrying about the nuances of the overall blending of the shades. Of course, that can come later. One thing that I learned from photography uh, during the time that I really put a lot of time into that is that light is everything. It defines the mood and ambience of an image. And I feel that with limited shades, I can really begin to get to grips with that. Whereas say, for example, starting with a 24 bit potential palette or having 10 shades of beige available in my Copic marker range means that I find it easier to get distracted and lose focus. And then sometimes the shading just ends up being a bit of a mess or perhaps the portrait of the character that I've been doing just lacks the impact that perhaps I imagined. That's what I wanted to do with this portrait of Saki for my manga Future Sailors. Allow the light to convey the mood as much as the expression. That is why I like using this method of creating pixel art, using a small amount of colours to start with and then increasing them as necessary. And that's it really. The limitations not only breed creativity, but they also help us grow as artists, I believe. That's it. No big profound message today, I'm afraid. Just me messing about with this old stuff and creating stuff that is at least up to date with my direction of travel as an artist at the tail end of 2022. I have another idea for another image I want to work on if my wrist is up to it. It's based on pretty much my last hand-drawn sketch I made before I broke my wrist. And it'll be fun to create something with atmosphere once again. That's it. Nothing more to say, really. I hope you're well and take care. Peace. Peace.